got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, flip size, barrels. Hey, 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 what is going on, you sexy bees? Variwa here, and I am so happy to see you guys. I am Variwa, and I welcome you to another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Review, Boobs and Lubes, a mod review with a fantastic and odd story. Now, this episode was actually supposed to be part of the previous episode, but it was way too long, so I decided to split it into two. But anyways, uh, Rebby was jogging with her new jogging outfit, and the weather just changed for the worse. It changed suddenly. Yeah, this is not looking too good for Rebby. Rebby is stuck in this bad neighborhood, so let's go check the radio to see when the rain is gonna stop. Whoa, wait, oh man, check this out, we have some new radio stations. Old World Radio Boston by Brando Men and Neher introduces six radio stations filled with more friendly music and radio jockeys. So I'll be briefly explaining each channel, and later on I'll, I'll let you girls and boys enjoy the talented voice acting and the music. And make sure to listen very closely to what they say, because everything has been carefully scripted, to fit the Fallout lore, so that's fantastic. We have Agatha's song with a female DJ, and it plays mostly classical music. And I'm here to keep you company on those weary roads traveled. Cadillac Jack's Radio Shack has a very warm male voice with some very upbeat tunes. Hello, Boston. This is Isaiah Pendergrass, broadcasting from Cadillac Jack's Radio Shack. And I'm bringing you the best pre-war hits out of this here multi-level shack. It's a big shack, too. Built it myself with parts from the old vault I crawled out of many years ago with my old mentor, Cadillac Jack. Here's another great song for you, Boston. And then we have the Galaxy News Radio, with a Morgan Freeman sound alike, and has some very fun and hip music as well. Hello there, fellow Bostonians. This is your host, Moses Pendergrass, and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio straight out of Boston. Just like our DC sister station, I bring you the news, and I bring you the blues. This song here brings me back to the first time I kissed a girl. No, wait. The first time I became a man, if you know what I mean. Gopnik Radio is maybe some kind of a communist Soviet Russian channel. You know, someone once told me that the trick to surviving in the wasteland is to stay well hydrated. Well, cheers to that. Гоп, стоп! Мы подошли из-за угла. Гоп, стоп! Tales from the Zone is exactly kind of like the Twilight Zone uh, with, some, with the same creepy stories. In this case, it's a apocalyptic based stories. I have at your disposal as well. Mm, I already have a car. Maybe you could have somebody move it though. It's the Chevy out front, parked in the loading zone. As you wish, I'll send up a fruit basket right away. Anything else you need, just call the concierge. Oh, Ace, should we? Don't think twice, baby. You deserve the best. Where's the elevator? I saw one in the hall. Then let's get moving. A little downtime, Jimbo, and you're gonna feel like a million bucks. We are. Tumbleweed Tones have some very sad and blues music and has a DJ with a southern accent. One of my best words of wisdom comes from a fella named Mr. Wayne. Life is hard, but it's even harder if you're stupid. All right, so I want you guys to enjoy, uh, you know, the next, the next couple of minutes, you know, enjoy a few clips from each of the radio stations. God bless you all. What a song. I just love kicking back in my chair, drinking rum and Nuka Cola cocktails, overlooking Boston on my multi level shack's porch while I spin these tunes. Yeah, enough blabbermouthing. 
Let's hear some more music. Damn. There's some strange creatures lurking around my shack right now. At first there was some mutated bear scratching at my door. Then there was some of those boat flies attacking it and pissed it off. It ran to the bushes and out came a pack of wild mutated dogs. The things you see when you just sit back and watch nature. You're listening to GNR with Moses Pendergraft. More to come. <laughs> Heard through the grapevine is there's a mysterious wanderer that came out of Vault 111. He's doing some good out there for all you fellow Bostonians. I hear our vault dweller is out there kicking some ass and taking names. This song goes out to you. Привет! You are tuning into Gopnik Radio at 107.5 FM. Welcome. This is your host Dmitry speaking. I am bringing you the best songs from across the sea. So kick back, Papa Mentats, and let the music flow. You know, my mother-in-law and my vodka have a lot in common. They're both poison and ice cold. scientists, physicists, astronomers, researchers. A cataclysmic event is going to take place on December 21st, 2012. All life as we know it will cease to exist on the planet unless you're properly sheltered from the event. Don't tell me you bought that Mayan calendar thing they keep showing on cable TV. This was a bad idea, Jerry. You should have followed the protocol. Protocol? Secrets? An oath? A compound? Hey guys, let me guess. You're all still mad because Y2K never happened. Well, hello there, cowboys. I'm your host, Dusty Dude. And I have some wild tales about the time I spent in New Vegas. But we'll jump on that horse a little further down the trail. First, I wanted to humbly thank you for tuning in to Tumbleweed Tunes. Brought to you via satellite from Old World Radio. Much obliged. I hold that song very dear to my heart. Brings me back to when I witnessed a herd of death claws heading out towards Quarry Junction. I first caught sight of those evil demons when leading a pack of Brahmin out of the Good Springs to trade with my amigo Doc Mitchell. Weary from my travels, I set up camp for the night. Okay, Rebby, let's go check the radio station again and see when the weather is going to change. Let's go find a weather station. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. Oh, of course, the Terminators and Skynet rules the Earth after the nuclear apocalypse. I kind of wonder when will Rebby meet some uh, of these Terminators and will they be hostile? Hmm. Well, I guess that kind of answers their questions. Here they are. Da -da 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 -da! Terminator Synth Gen 2 by Secret Agent 99 alters the look of the Generation 2 Synth so they look like Terminators. So when installing the mod, there's a launcher that allows you to choose what kind of metal textures the Synth will use, and we're gonna be taking a look at a few of them. And then there are, are optional choices to add human teeth or to make their uh, Synth skin a, look a little bit more tan color. Lastly, we can choose the eye color, but we're going to be sticking with the red eyes just because, well, that's the eye color that we're most familiar with when we're looking at Terminators. 
Now the changes affect a few of the, a few of the different sims and you know there's the naked ones without uh, any skin and then we have like the ones that are in full skin and then we have the ones that are damaged like you know they have the skin but it still shows the skeleton underneath. So the first one is the traditional chrome metal, the entire skeleton and various parts are all in chrome and, it, and it's quite interesting how the synth in the game already kind of look like Terminators and the whole premise of the synth in the game is kind of like how Terminators are in the movies. Now the two red eyes are like the two cherries on top of a cake, oh man that looks so scary. It would appear my target has disappeared. Then we have the Burnt Steel. Now the Terminators look like they've been held and back like they've been through numerous battles exterminating all those human rebels, the resistant fighters. Man, I love that chart look. The next one has a bits of like synthetic uh, human skin still stuck to the skeleton. Finally, we have an extra shiny chrome. Now all that bling bling is used to blind a human's delicate eyes. Oh man, it must be super effective. You must be terminated. Overall, the sims being altered to look more like Terminators are quite scary and intimidating. In my opinion, it looks uh, more high-tech than anything that the Institute can build. Now, I think that, you know, um, the Skynet is more advanced than the Institute. Now, I think Rebby should consult the map and figure out where the Skynet's headquarters is so we can attack it because we have this very detailed map. Satellite World Map by Floor Below provides us with the most detailed map ever of the Commonwealth. As you can see, it's fully colored and you can see all the buildings, roads, and geological features. So let's go to the uh, let's go to Sanctuary, you know, the place that we're pretty familiar with, and we can see like part of the wooden bridge leading out of the sanctuary, and we can also see each of those 10 houses in Sanctuary. So that's pretty cool, it's very detailed, we can see everything. Okay, so let's go to this part of the map. Uh, we can see like the sunken boats around the waterways and you can see some of the map features underwater too. Like we can see like rocks and stuff underwater. So that's pretty cool. Now the fully colored map really helps to distinguish what everything is on the very detailed map. It makes everything stand out. It looks extremely accurate and has every building and large rock visible. So right here on the map, I'm standing on top of this blue dome and there's a red boat nearby and an orange bridge. So let's see in first person view, uh, we have, oh yeah, look at that orange boat. And this is the uh, blue dome that we're on and underneath us, we have a orange brown bridge. Perfect. Look at that. It all matches up. Now there's also a monochrome version and it just says detailed but of course it's a little bit harder to see every detail but you know you, you might want to use this if, if you still want to like maintain the feel of the vanilla map but you want something that's kind of uh, more detailed. Anyways, Rebi and her followers should dress up to look more like human resistant fighters to fight against the machine. So something like the NCR Ranger Veteran Armor by Dogtooth CG Uno Team, and it's perfect because of the NCR's Ranger's combat effectiveness and the ability to survive and it's perfect against the machine. Now the NCR Veteran uh, Ranger appeared in Fallout New Vegas and it's a three-piece armor. We have the helmet, mask, and suit. It's probably one of those rare episodes that doesn't have a sexy armor, but you know what? This armor in itself is a sexy in its own way. Now the helmet has what looks to be like a communications device, gas mask, speaker, helmet, and goggles. Yay, we could see my eyes too. Yay, it's see-through. Nice.
the NCR Ranger also comes with an anti-material rifle and holy shit that is a super hot sniper rifle. Now this baby uses a 50 caliber rounds and has a very long barrel, it's a super long barrel. Now I can't wait to shoot it and test it out. So the rifle is uh, bolt action and it does 140 damage. Now it's pretty much a monster hell. I bet you can even beat enemies to a pulp by just swinging the uh, rifle around as a club. Anyways, I am very well. Be sexy, beast, enjoy. Now, I just set up these uh, terminators here for some target practice. So let's go into higher ground and shoot fish in a barrel, shall we? And what the hell is going on here? What? Wait a second. What is this? Is this like the Model T-1000 from Terminator 2? You know, it's all like liquidy and stretched out. Holy crap. So anyways, <laughs> now all, all the mods can be found in the video description below and as well as my Twitter, Patreon, and Steam group. If you want to join them, that would be fantastic. And uh, make sure to follow me. Yeah. Now bang that like and subscribe button and bang it good. Well then, stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy, my fellow boat dwellers.